Hyperlink Network is a provider of free high-speed wireless internet in both Metro Zone and uh, Hot City applications as well as single spot venues uh, throughout the United States. The market in which we serve through a Harbor Link is primarily the average individual, a citizen that's walking around the street with any Wi-Fi enabled handheld device. But we've been doing single spot venues in restaurants and bars and those types of applications for years and we've always had the feeling why couldn't you take that and make it bigger. Our new push into the market is through municipal wireless projects. Uh, we started with the city of Dayton. So we went to the city, and it was funny is that it kind of gelled with their same thoughts. Specifically, they wanted to see something that would be able to be marketed to uh, younger people, uh, the kind of you know people you want to get employed to bring up the median income of a, of a, of a city, uh, to get more of the higher end jobs. The existing network that we have in the, the one square mile right now is a self-configuring, self-healing, self-monitoring system. The products that were involved in the solution are the Cisco 1500 access point, which is the mesh access point, as well as the 4100 uh, series controller, uh, which actually acts as the brains of the network. We configure one controller, uh, and then as we add access points, they automatically configure themselves and then fit themselves into the mesh network, uh, which allows them to be dynamically adjusted for frequency, for channelization, for power output, uh, and it's an ever-changing environment. Cisco's been great to work with. Their engineering staff has been second to none for being able to help us, you know, hands-on uh, with the system. And it separated itself because it gave us that single point of management that we were looking for. In a business model, we have to be able to go out and do these things quickly, cost-effectively. And with that system, the way it's set up now, if we can hang access points in 20 minutes versus two hours, well, obviously you can see the effect of what that's going to have in our business model. I don't think I've heard one negative thing about what we're doing. Uh, it's a neat piece for our community. I think we've got the first public-private partnership in the country. There's nothing like this. And to have this service offered to our community has been very unique. Our future is bright. I'm excited about the future. For uh, the, the city network is expand, expected to go to 55 square miles. That's going to start incorporating a lot of the, uh, the outer lying areas where a lot of homes are. We would like to bring in uh, more and more services for our customers so they get more and more information very specific to where they are. The city does have plans for surveillance cameras. We touched on more information to uh, police cruisers, to emergency vehicles. Um, I think us expanding into school districts where we can perhaps help out with uh, a digital divide of how do we get bandwidth where it wasn't available and what can you do with it, those are things that will fall into place as well. Anytime you can say that Cisco is backing you or that you are presenting a Cisco product, it is the weight that can say, and this is a Cisco certified product and that always will make life a little easier. It kind of sounds somewhat corny, but we've always said we wanted to do this, but it was not available or able to do this without the product. It was Cisco that made it viable for us to go forward and say, now we can create the system that we want. Now we can do something. Now we can approach the market, and now we can do what we want to do.